Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been quite a while since I've made one of these, but um, I'm looking to get back into making aircraft tutorials. And the first one today is an aircraft that I built quite recently, which is the C-130 Hercules. Now, the one I'm going to be showing you how to build in this video is the extended C-130J-30 variant. Uh, which is just 5 meters longer than the regular C-130J. But once you know how to build this one, it is actually quite simple to build the other one because it is literally just a 5 meter shorter variant, uh, which I'll show you exactly uh, how to replicate this at the end of the video. But yeah, I'll just get right into the tutorial. So to start off with layer 1, we're going to place the nose landing gear, which is just polished deep slate, that's what I'm using, uh, stone buttons on either side, and then we're going to place um, measuring blocks, or it doesn't really matter which block, just something that you can measure with. Um, 12 blocks back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you go on either side to make a T shape and place stairs upside down like this. You can break these blocks now, they're just, um, just to measure distances. And then stairs back on the other side. You can place these blocks here just to make it a bit easier, but basically you want to make this shape like it's the bottom half of the landing gear. Now for the next layer, you're going to want to put some sort of wall, I'm using andesite walls, above the nose landing gear, and then on either side, place whichever colour block you're using for the fuselage. Uh, I'm just going to use stone for the base colour this time, and a stair upside down in front, and a slab and then two slabs on either side like this. Then place two blocks back on either side and then slabs in the middle. And then with slabs, you want to go back from here 17 blocks. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And basically the same all along up to that point here. So that's four blocks behind the landing gear. Then you place two blocks on either side here, slab in the middle, and three slabs just like that to make that shape. Now place three slabs on either side, like this, and then a block on either side. And now for the landing gear, you can basically complete that like so. So now we've got the wheels, and as the landing gear covers, I guess you could call them, could put these four stairs on either side upside down. Now go along in front three blocks and then with half slabs go all the way to join up here like that and that's layer two done. Now for layer three at the front I'm going to place three blocks on either side of the landing gear again. One block there and then go back one block like this and then upside down stairs next to these blocks and then the right way up stairs in front and then on both sides just place blocks all the way back to this block or sorry this slab here and one block further and then you can place slabs like this and blocks just here and another slab like that and then one more row of three slabs back like this. And just to finish off this layer, you can place four stairs on top of the landing gear covers which we started to finish that off there. Now onto layer four, we can start by placing the cockpit windows in line with the landing gear, two glass blocks on either side, and then slabs in front and slabs upwards behind like this. And in the middle of these two, another glass block uh, I'm using grey stained glass for this. Now on either side of these two slabs, you can place regular stairs upright and then go all the way back with blocks again on either side of the fuselage and one block further than this slab. Like that. And then I believe it's the same as the layer below it. Slabs in this formation, blocks like this, slabs in between and then a row of three behind. Now onto layer 5, just above these two blocks of glass I'm going to place a different sort of stone slab, uh, in this case it's smooth stone slabs, to sort of act as the eyebrows of the Hercules, and then on this block it's just a regular stone slab, 
stone stairs behind, and then a slab behind the stair blocks like this, and then go all the way back with slabs like this, all the way nearly to the end, but then here you can place two blocks like this instead, do the same mirrored on the other side, like that. Now here, you want to fill in this gap by going seven blocks back here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then stair, same on the other side, and then five blocks back with slabs like this, one, two, three, four, five, on both sides, and then with the slabs you can just keep going all the way to here. like that. Then at the back of the aircraft place a slab there, a row of three stairs, and then the slabs go back four blocks like that, and on either side just three blocks. And now we're going to move on to the um, horizontal stabilizer. So just here next to this upside down stair you want to go outwards two slabs, then back one, then three slabs, back one again, and then two slabs. Go back one, just go along here, one, two, three, four, out, uh, back one again, and then just join it up like this. Ooh, and you can fill the whole thing in with slabs. Repeat the exact same thing on the other side. Like that. And now you see this gap in the middle of the fuselage, you just want to go back um, all the way up until this stair block here, and then go back two more but stop there, because um, this bit is where the tail will go. Moving on to the wings, I'm going to place five blocks like this, and then three next to it to make this shape here, then out one more, three along, and then underneath it place two slabs just like that as this is going to be one of our engines and then for the back of the wing I'm going to place slabs like this one two three four five and then forwards one one two three four five six forwards one again one two three four five six and forwards one again and then go along one two three four five six seven eight then place four blocks one behind the other like that 200 again as this will be the outer engine and then one ahead of this row I'm going to place slabs to join these up and fill this gap here and then you can just fill the whole wing in with slabs like so and now for the actual propellers themselves I'm going to place deep slate tiles um, as my darker coloured block and then stairs one ahead from that same on the other engine. And then on one side, I'm going to place deep slate tiles lower down, the other side higher up, like that. And then facing this way, I'm going to place stairs on top, and then slabs next to those. And then basically just do the same thing on the bottom with upside down stairs. And that's about the best I could do to get a reasonably shaped propeller for this plane. Now you'll have to repeat the whole wing on the other side. In my case, I can just use world edit by using this axe tool uh, and flipping it and pasting it over. But if you don't have world edit, you'll just have to place it block for block, copying it again, but mirrored. So there's my wing on both sides, looking the exact same. And that should be this layer done. Now the last step is building the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place slabs here. One, two, three. Then blocks are going to go back one, two, three. Place a slab on top of that, one more, stair on top of that one. Then back one with another block, up one, stair facing that way, up one like that, stair facing that way again, up one again, stair facing that way. Then backwards, stair, facing that direction. Then go down four blocks, place a backwards stair just there, then down to meet with the back of the fuselage and then you can just fill in this whole space here and there's your tail fin done
So there we are. For me, that's the aircraft done. But if you would like to, you can make some alterations to it. Uh, the first alteration you may make is the nose, which, I mean, it doesn't look terrible here, but it is actually quite difficult to get noses to look right in one-to-one -one scale. Uh, so you could do a, like a little bit of reshaping uh, like that. I think something like this might have been the design that I had uh, originally when I first made this, but I ended up adjusting it, changing it uh, to make it look a little bit more like the real thing. Um, but again, it is really difficult to replicate here. Also, if you'd prefer to make the shorter variant of the C-130 Hercules, which is the uh, Hercules C-5, then all you need to do is just shorten the fuselage a little bit. As you can see here, the front of the propeller cone is four blocks from this little um, step down here. So there's four blocks there. And here, this back stair is two blocks from the start of the tail. However, if we go over to this Hercules C5 variant that I made here, you can see that the front of the um, propeller cone is basically in line with this last lab here and also the start of the tail is in line with the back of this stair and of course the paintwork which you can uh, replace after you've built it or do it up, uh, while you're building it and as you can see here I've painted both of these in the RAF colours is the nice green that you get. I would much prefer if uh, I could use a better block colour for the slabs and stairs, which is always a problem, but Mojang seem to be refusing to add proper slab and stair colours, uh, so we'll just have to do with these for now. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone, uh, and I should be getting back to making some more videos in the future. Bye everyone.